life, which are essential. Strong roots and powerful wings. Oh, such a profound statement coming from you. Trying your hand at writing or what? Oh, no, no. I haven't written this. It's a quote by Sudha Muti. Actually, last night I was reading one of her books. Sudha Muti? What? You don't know her? She is a role model for all generations. Not only a homemaker, she is the chairperson of Infosys Foundation. An engineer, a teacher, a prolific author, a philanthropist. Wait, wait, wait. You mean to say Miss Muti is a bunch of talent? Yes. Why don't you attend our English club presentation? We are going to enact some inspiring instances from our life. Let's take a sneak peek into Sudha Murthy's inspirational childhood. Sudha is reading to her grandmother the story Kashi Yatre from the weekly magazine Karambira. Sudha's abba could not read as she had never been to school. Dear Sudan Miss Sudha, it's Lada's marriage next Tuesday. Yay! I'm married. I am also coming, Amma. When Sudha and her mother came back from the wedding, she saw her grandmother in tears. She was surprised, for Sudha had never seen her grandmother cry, even in the most difficult situations. Sudha gifted her grandmother the novel Kashi Yatre when she learned to read. No, Ava, please don't do that. It is not right. I am touching the feet of a teacher, not my granddaughter. A teacher who taught me so well that I can finally read, write and recite. My dream has come true. I love that. Wasn't young Sudha so ingenious? Yes, indeed. Then let's watch the next act where young entertainment Sudha will capture your heart. There she is, walking through the gates of Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. She is the only girl in computer science department. And there, at the entrance hall, are her two batchmates looking at a notice put up on the notice board. Look, Sudha, Telco put up an advertisement calling for young and hardworking engineers with an excellent academic background for placements. Why don't you apply to? I am sure you'll get this job. Oh no, she can't. And may I ask, why can't I? Read the last line, Sudha. Lady candidates need not apply. Oh, this is not fair. But Sudha, why are you worried? You have already got scholarships from universities in the US. Sudha was deeply affected and she decided to write a postcard to J.R.D. Tata informing him about the gender bias. The result was incredible and Sudha Murthy was called for an interview. This is the girl who moved to Chiyadi. Please have a seat. Do you know why we said lady candidates need not supply? The reason is that we have never employed any lady on the shop floor. 
but you must start somewhere. Otherwise, no woman will ever be able to work in your factories. Congratulations, Sudha. You have become the first lady technical engineer in Telco. That's unbelievable. I wish to know more about Sudha Murthy. Do you know? Sudha Murthy not only excelled in her professional life, but also remained steadfast to her principles in her personal life. What's the next act to know her better? Amma, I'm so excited. It's my birthday tomorrow. I want to celebrate it in a grand way. The same way as my friend Anand did. But Rohan, what's the need of such a grand celebration? You can treat your friends with samosas. In the evening, I will take you to a bookshop and you can select as many books as you want. My appa used to celebrate all special occasions by getting us books of our choice. But Amma, we are not so poor that we can't afford a grand celebration. But we think Rohan, do you really want to spend such a huge amount on the celebration? Let him enjoy the occasion the way he wants to the Anyway, he doesn't demand much. It's not about much or less, Narayan. Demands of children should not be fulfilled instantly. I have just given him some time to think. Amma, I guess you're right. I will give a treat to all my friends in the school canteen and buy the series of Secret 7 by Anil Blyton. That's my boy. Sudha Murthy has inspired many over the years. But do you know who inspired her to become a philanthropist? Let's move ahead and walk the, and walk the next act and how Sudha Murthy's daughter Akshata changed the course of her life. Amma, what are you thinking so deeply? Akshata, I don't know why. I am missing something in life. Amma, you are 45 years old. Decide what exactly is your aim in life. Child, I work for myself, excel in studies and devoted myself to Infosys and my family. Now I want to spend the remaining part of my life in serving people. I feel a sense of duty towards them. Amma, when an educated person like you, who has traveled well read and without lack for money, does not help the poor, then don't expect anyone else to. Is it your duty to give back to those who are unfortunate? Definitely, Akshata, but it's not going to be easy for me all alone. Amma, you are a daughter of a doctor, granddaughter of a school teacher, and also come from a distinguished family. If you are in dilemma, then who will come forward? And Amma, we all are with you. Sudha Murti took eight days to decide and act on the words of her daughter. She finally resigned from the post of a lecturer of computer science and worked for the welfare of the needy. She became a full-time philanthropist. What an admiring woman Sudha Murti is! Her life has inspired me so much! Thanks to the members of your English club for taking me on such an incredible journey and letting me have the glimpses of such priceless treasures. Now I do want to be a member of this club. Of course I'm the, but first you'll have to inculcate reading habits. Thanks a lot to Sean. I've already begun. I bought some books written by Sudha Murthy for myself and for all the members of your club. Please accept them. Wow! Thanks a lot Envy. With these books, we can start our own library and motivate everyone to love books more than anything else in the world. It is time now to bid adieu. Happy day!